What's up, YouTube? Redbeard's Garage. Uh, got the 4G63 all done, as you probably seen on the end of the last video. Well, when I put the um, part two of that video up, you'll find a few things. So, what happened was uh, I got the boost out in. I was running it for now at 13 pounds of boost because it was it was running a little bit lean, so I didn't want to. Uh, you know cause any problems from that so I didn't want to get in high RPMs so I was getting like I got up to 5,000 RPMs once and uh, kind of cut out all of a sudden but then I mean it was like it didn't get gas for one second I don't know if that was a problem because of the lean thing so I was like okay I'm done I'm gonna go home and uh, set the camera down so yeah um, so I came home to look at it and heard there was a little bit more of an exhaust leak. There was a little exhaust leak from where one of the studs is still broke off at the very um, corner uh, stud on the block, but you can't get to it unless you take like a ridiculous amount of stuff off. So what I'm gonna try to do is take my welder and weld onto the end of the stud that's broke off until I can get a weld out past the, uh, the head so I can grab onto it with my fingers once it pulls off and it should be enough to get it out because they're not it's not like it seized in there it just broke from it got it just over time it worked its way loose and then the vibration snapped it so i knew it had an exhaust leak from that so when i pulled into the garage uh, i heard or in front of my garage i heard it was a little louder and that shitty exhaust manifold that i've been the whole problem to this whole build has been that exhaust manifold i went cheap it was like 90 bucks on ebay i knew i was going to replace it later with a good cast one uh, because the pipe ones, the name brand pipe ones are like $1,200 and that's ridiculous for a header. You know, there's no way I would spend that ever. So the cast, they make a real nice, uh, I think it's Forged Performance. Maybe that's the brand. Makes a real nice cast. It's already ported and everything from stock. And it's, I've never heard nothing bad about them. They line everything up just like factory where this aftermarket piece of junk header I bought kick the turbo towards the block probably another inch. So I couldn't mount the downpipe. There's a factory mount on 1G DSMs. I don't know about 2G, I'm sure there is. Um, this little clamp comes off the block and bolts, you know, kind of clamps around the, the pipe. So that wouldn't go on there, wasn't enough space uh, for it. So that might have uh, caused the header to crack too, the weight of the turbo pulling down on it could have cracked and it being cheap in the first place. But it split one of the pipes. So. What my plans are is to pull it off, buy the cast one in a Mitsubishi OEM uh, gasket because I've heard they're they're the best to get. They're better than any aftermarket one. And uh, it'll take a little bit before I can get that header. I'll throw up, I'm gonna, actually I'm, I'm sure what you've seen ahead, um, I'm just trying to explain why the car's down, why there won't be no videos of pulls in it. Uh, and I still need to get the exhaust ran. I don't want to drive it much with open down pipes, just real loud. And uh, I don't have insurance right now, so I don't want to try to draw any attention to it, you know, if it's not necessary. So, yeah, so the plan is to get a Mitsubishi OEM gasket because the cheap gasket that came with the cheap header leaked, which I, I probably I, I probably should have known that, you know. And I got half my money back on the header because of the fitment issues. Uh, so I only paid $45, so oh well. You know, it's a, it's a dead header now. It's going to go up on my wall with my other uh, various car parts. So... Once I get the, the header and that gasket and the rest of the exhaust ran and the muffler put on and everything, then we'll do some true pulls. I'm getting a GoPro, so we'll be able to strap a few GoPros to it and uh, see how she pulls. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to start doing some upgrades on the Nissan very soon, so I'm going to start filming that. Sorry, guys, I'm not putting videos up. I'm really trying. I'm doing a lot of new stuff at work and trying to just get, you know, figure everything out. So. We'll get everything back under control, and I really, I'm shooting for three videos a week, whether they're vlogs, what I'm doing, messing around. I'm gonna put part two of the cooler up very soon. I'm gonna make that, shoot that video tomorrow, edit it up Monday, and uh, have it uploaded for you uh, Monday before I leave from my office. Uh, so yeah, I'll try to get more videos out as soon as possible. I'm gonna show how to take the rear bumper off and escape. I got another one escape I'm putting a uh, drop hitch on, so or a trailer hitch, whatever. Um, I'll show you how to install one on an SUV. It's probably gonna be different with every SUV, but it might help someone out in the long run. So, look forward to more videos. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't had um, more videos coming out. I, I gotta get on this, because uh, this is gonna be 
one of my main focuses is this YouTube channel. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. This project's been a pain in the ass, but it's a car project. That's what they do. Uh, hopefully get it all worked out, get everything squared up, and uh, hope to see, see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.